A lot of times when a woman is single for a long time, men or or sometimes even other women will look at her like there's something wrong with her when a lot of times that woman is just very smart mm. and he's a hundred percent right the longer that you go without a man the clearer you start seeing things and the clearer you can see <sighs> baby the worse it is <laughs> but no seriously when you stop operating from a place of oh i need a relationship i need a man and you start really looking at these men for who they are and what they have to offer and what they can really bring to your life the quicker you will start to realize that a lot of them just don't a lot of them are just not worth all of what we thought that they were this is not me hating on men this is not this is not that this is me defending single women that's it the longer that you go without a man, the less stuff that you start to tolerate and the better you are at detecting when a man is really not worth your time. When your desire for partnership stops overriding your desire for genuine respect and genuine love, then you will start to see things so differently and it is going to change you you're going to make decisions that you probably would not have made before and you're going to be a lot less willing to accept and settle for just anything and the longer that you go being alone at least in my experience the mm. more you enjoy being alone and then that means when a man does come along he's gonna have to actually do something you're gonna have to make a real difference in my life and you're gonna have to make it very clear because i am no longer just looking to be booed up just for the sake of being booed up no sir you're gonna have to come over here with something tangible something real and something genuine otherwise i can stay by myself I'm just getting on here for all the girlies who are in their 30s. I'm 33, turning 34 yeah, next month. And I'm just being done dating. Like, excuse my language, but I'm done. Like, for a while there, I was on a kick for the younger guys because that was all that was hollering at me. Because I must say, I think I look pretty good for being 33. So I was like, okay, I'm done with the young ones. Like they're too immature. Like I'm looking for something more serious in life. They, they're not doing it for me. Cool. Whatever. I reunite with an ex that I was with when I was 22. And this was like always the one who got away from me. Mind you, he is three years older than me. Going to be 37 in January. This man is emotionally unavailable. So they're too immature in their 20s and then they're possibly still emotionally unavailable in their 30s. I understand why my mom is 60 years old and still single and just said forget it because that's what it's about to be. From dating and talking to guys who just absolutely love bomb you to talking to a guy who's probably a little bit more emotionally stable, probably a little bit more mature. Let me tell you, it can be confusing. It's like, why are you not texting me 24 seven and then getting upset when I don't reply within a certain amount of time just because you really want to hear from me that day? I don't understand why you're not sending me random flowers or my favorite coffee order after the first date because you're just thinking about me. Why are we not having four hour long phone calls every single night, messing up both of our sleep schedules, therefore putting us both in a very unhealthy place because we need some sleep. Why, why are you not joking about our kids and like our wedding one day? Why are you not taking me to meet your entire family after this second day? I don't, I don't understand. Why are you not just completely obsessed with me? Why are you not just completely obsessed with me? I mean, do you even like me at this point? You can see where I'd be a little confused, right? No, this is, this is normal. Oh, really? Cool. You're right. I'll, I'll see you this weekend. All right, YouTube. Once again, I am back with another video. So um, today's video is just a simple one, but I want to tell you all this. Please and please don't listen to this woman. Never, ever, ever get obsessed with anybody in today's world because you're going to get your heart broken. Don't be obsessed with any man. Don't be obsessed with any woman because in today's world, people just walk out of your life like like they just don't care never get obsessed with any woman never get obsessed with any man this is just a friendly advice that i'm giving and yeah let's continue 
now i feel like this woman actually spoke some facts um because as a man as a woman sometimes the more you stay single the more you feel like you don't need anybody that is sometimes not all the times sometimes when you're single and you're doing well for yourself you feel like oh i don't need nobody i want to be independent i don't need no woman i don't need no man guys let me know in the comment section do you think this is true or does it only apply to women do men feel the same do men feel like they don't need women when they stay single for a longer period of time do they feel like they don't need women let me know in the comment section now concerning this video i have a lot of comments that came in let me read it for you guys happily single for seven years men give me the ick these days oh okay a close friend was single and not married until about 38 years. She would put on the strong woman facade for the world. I don't need or want a man. I am happier alone. But then break down crying in private about how devastatingly lonely it was at the end of each day. These were very real, very deep and very painful tears she cried. I don't believe any woman 35 plus actually enjoys being alone. Wow. So this is what Angela thinks. Let me know what you think. I tried to start dating again and I'm barely finding them attractive anymore. I think I am good for right now because none of them are different so far. Oh, okay. I've been single for seven years and haven't the slightest desire to deal with a man. We don't need. The gig is up. She didn't say she wasn't having sex. She said she was single. I hope she feels the same about being single in her 50s. She is happily single, not celibate. Fellas, remember that. Gentlemen, never pursue a woman. It is a waste of time. Focus on being the best man you can be. Oh, okay. I think this one is trying to advise the men. All right. <laughs> All right, guys, that is it for the comment section. Let me know what you also think in the comments. Do you think single people are also celibates or do you think they're just single but they sleep around with people? Let me know in the comment section. And thank you so much for watching till the end. Please make sure you subscribe to this channel and like this video for me. I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you so much for checking this episode out. And yeah, stay safe out there. Bye.